My dream has come true. There's an ass on a bat. Keep dreaming, brother. Keep dreaming. You'll never see an ass on a bat. No, sister. I see an ass flying on a bat. That's never gonna happen. You're never gonna see that. Welcome to our scene on Asinetu back to represented by this ass over here on top of a bat. Ass on top of a bat for Asinetu Bacter. Now, most common one is known as Asinetu Bacter Belmonii. Now, before we take a look at what's going on with this ambulance over here, let's take a look at the structure of Asinetu Bacter. So we see this little boy and his sister over here. They're red. They help us remember the gram negative, right? Because they stain red in gram staining due to the thin peptidoglycan wall. She has an oxygen mask. Oxygen mask in our videos represents aerobic because they're obligate aerobes. They require oxygen. And their shape, well, they're not spheres and they're not rods. They're sort of in between. They're coxobacilli. That's the shape of Asinetobacter. Now, just before we see what's going on next in the scene, we'll just make a note that we don't see any oxygen in the scene. And that's important that Asinetobacter is oxidase negative. Now, we mentioned that this boy was looking at this ass on top of the bat. Now, that's not representing anything important for us. What is important is what's going on with this ambulance. Now, Asinetobacter baumani is a commensal opportunist with increasingly associated with resistant hospital-acquired infections, especially the ICU. The ambulance is going to help us remember the ICU. And on top of it is there its gnome. This gnome comes up in a lot of different videos to represent pneumonia. Because Asinetobacter can cause ventilator-associated pneumonia, as well as septicemia. And that's why we have over here this scepter with these random seeds on top of it to help us remember septicemia in immunocompromised patients all right that's our scene on asinetobacter i hope you enjoyed please leave your comments i really appreciate it take care